Welcome back to Up Close Classic. I'm Roy Firestone. You can't think of the Yankees without conjuring up images of their owner, George Steinbrenner. Opinionated, combative, ego-driven, Steinbrenner is a one-of-a-kind who thrives on controversy. I talked to the boss about his distinctive personality and how it reflects his team. You would agree that you have been intolerant in your day? Yes. You have been incredibly generous in your day? Well, I don't know about that. You have been harsh? You have been kind? Harsh is good. You have been tough? Tough is good. You've been very sentimental? I don't know about that. Both sides are you, clearly. Are you surprised there's been so much conflict and upheaval in these 25 years? Or is that just, are you just a magnet for this stuff? Well, I don't know if I'm a magnet for it. I want to win. I've always had that desire from the day I was born, I believe I had it. I never liked losing. But Peter now, O'Malley liked to win. Walter O'Malley liked to win. They, you never heard their names. Maybe not as much as I did. See, it's the degree to which you want to win. I believe you have to know how to win. And I, I just do it my way. Walter O'Malley, one of the great men I've ever met, went to the same school I did. We both went to the same school, Culver Military right. Academy. So did Lou Nippert that owned the Reds in Cincinnati. And yet we, we came in World Series, two guys from the same school, and we won. We won. We so won. you're saying you just feel that the passion was different. You wanted it more, maybe. Could be. That might be a way of saying it. But I, I don't say I wanted it more... I know my players probably at times don't understand. Uh, they don't. That I, would be that would be fair yeah, to say. Yeah, I, I I I give them that. I've had guys leave me who have uh, said, oh, "Oh, that you don't know how bad it was with him. It was this. It was that." And yet, when they came, when they needed me, I was there for them. I believe in that. Twenty-two managers, twenty-four years. Yeah, sixteen. Five the same ones. How about the Cubs? How many do you think they've had? Okay, in the same number of 16 years. Sixteen general managers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here is a guy who is impatient with people who well, aren't getting you know, it done. I, I don't want to dwell on this. I'm just saying, how many have the Chicago Cubs had in the same I period? Would know, I would know offhand. Well, you ought to check that how out many? before you, more than me. And I had, I had Billy Martin five times. Five times. I, they, and Billy Martin was with me the day he died. He was on the payroll. He was never taken off. I never, only one man did I take off the payroll when I made a change. And that was Dick Hauser. Dick Hauser was a great manager. He and I had a disagreement, and he went elsewhere, and he did magnificently. Mm -hmm. But when Dick passed away, unfortunately, in a very tough situation, who went up and paid off his mortgage? You know, uh, sure, I know I do things wrong. I'm not perfect. But one way or another, I try to make the people understand, and I always go back. I'm, I, I'll just stand on my record. That's all I can do. I can't say George Diamond is a great guy. I won't. I won't say that. But have I there been times when you've gone at home at night, when you've gone home at night, and you say, geez, why did I do that? What a, that sure, was really sure. mean. Why did uh, I do that? Don't use the word mean. That was really wrong. That was wrong. I, God, I feel uh, so bad about it. Sure. That. Don't you think I carry these things around with me? I do. But I also produce winners, and they win. And they go away. In some ways, maybe they go away better men. Does it hurt to be vilified? I mean, oh, sure it does. Would you love to be loved? Sure, but but let me tell you something. At the ballpark, you've got to accept certain things from those people. They pay, they come, they boo a guy when he strikes out, they cheer him when he hits a home run. I got to be the same way. When I walk out at night, uh, the people cheer, and it means a lot to me. Those are the people standing waiting to see the players. They cheer. I don't know how it would be if I walked amongst them after we had a seven-game losing streak. I don't know about that. And people in New York are genuinely great to me. Last thing, I'm going to give you one, one word, you give me one line. Okay. Association. Yeah. Control. A quality that's much admired, uh, much sometimes overused. Do you uh, have to be in control? Oh, do I have to be in control? Uh, yeah, I'd have to say that that probably goes with me, yes. Power? Power. Power only so that you can do good for others with that power. Money. Only what you can do for other people with that power. The battle? The battle? I love battle. I love it. How uh, would you have been in war? In George? war? How would you have been in the field of battle as a general? As, as I would a... have, I, I got to tell you, I would probably would have wanted to be like Patton. He is one of my heroes because uh, every time, if you study the history of the Second World War, Every time they needed something done, mm -hmm. 
He wasn't a diplomat, but who did they turn to? They turned to George Patton. And the, 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 the proof of his leadership is that if you're sitting with a bunch of veterans from the Second World War, which I was not, I was too young, but, um, and you, say, you hear them say, well, I was in Europe or I, was, I served in Japan, they never say who they serve with except if it's Patton. They say, I was with Patton in Europe. That meant something special to them. So when a ball player I, says, I was with Steinbrenner. I was with the Yankees. See, I was a Yankee. That's something more. The, the, the pinstripes give them a sense of immortality. I believe that. Silly as it may sound, I believe it. And I'm out to prove it. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our special look at some of the personalities who've been part of the New York Yankees through the years. We'll see you next time on Up Close Classic. I'm Roy Firestone.